Hey, how y'all doing? Life's short. Life's too short. Sounds simple, but I think it's something that really hit home for a lot of people, especially me, these past two years and everything that's been going on with the world. Particularly lately, I've been feeling disconnected in a world that's constantly connected. This may come as a shock to you, but I was an emo kid. Hardcore. Still am. I'm just older and call myself retired now. I also dealt with some pretty heavy stuff from a very early age. So I was, and I didn't know it at the time, but I was struggling with depression and a lot of trauma. Basically, to sum it all up, I related way too hard to Dean Winchester by age 11. As such, I isolated myself. Pretty easy to do, living in the middle of nowhere. I was also the brainiac, wore all black, listened to screamo. Not only that, but I was from a working class family in the middle of nowhere with no money, so even if I had a place to go, I didn't have the funds to go. Well, fast forward to now. As I've both grown up and started doing some healing, I've had this turn in my attitude approach to life. I call it my why not attitude. It's exactly what it sounds like. I'm feeling like I'm playing catch up with all the years that I spent isolated. My preteen and teen years that I should have spent going out, doing things, and having experiences, I was busy dealing with the crap hand that life had dealt me. But now, I'm more cognizant than ever of all the things that I've missed out on, especially with social media. On social media, we can see all these cool little small businesses and activities like axe throwing or little hole-in-the-wall places that make us want to go out and travel and have these new experiences. And lately, I've been thinking of all those cool things I could have gone, done, seen, experienced if I hadn't spent all of those years inside isolating. It certainly makes me sad and regretful, but it's not too late. I still have time. I don't know how much time, and honestly, that was a big part of my isolation early on in life. I lost a lot of loved ones very early on in my life, and so I was made very aware of my limited time here on Earth. Naturally, I thought I wouldn't be around that long. I don't know how much time I have left. But what I do know is that as I've started this process of healing and growing, I'm more excited for life than ever, and I want to experience everything, whatever I can, because why not? There's so many cool things to do, so many cool things to learn, so many cool people to meet and memories to make. So if I can, why not? In this series, it goes without saying that I was very inspired by Unis Honest, as I think a lot of people should be, but mostly the inspiration came from the changes I was making in myself and the cool things that was coming out of that simply by asking two words. Why not? So this series is all about exploring what life has to offer. It's about looking at possible opportunities and asking, why not? Overall, this series is about expanding on that concept and what can happen when you start asking those two little words as a habit. Trying new things, learning new things, meeting new people especially, and definitely going new places. Just anything and everything that catches my eye. Everything that I think that would make the most of whatever time I have. After all, if I can, why not? So like most of my series, like most of the things I do in life, nothing about this is really planned. It really is just going to be whatever catches my eye, whatever I want to do, whatever seems cool. And I kind of really dig that. I hope it's fun. I hope it's wild. I hope to learn a lot. But most importantly, I hope you'll join me. After all, why not? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Love and peace. Until tomorrow. <laughs>